Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to go over the Madden 21 trailer. Now, I haven't seen this trailer yet. As you can see right here on the window screen, it's still loading. It's waiting for me to watch. I, I press play, then I pause real quick so we can start the video. Haven't seen the trailer yet. I'm going to watch it with you guys. Some of y'all probably already seen it. And I'm going to give my honest take, honest opinion on it. I might have to do a, a, a real quick run through of it. Matter of fact, let's just talk about something that they have on this uh, website right here called, they got a couple details. This is from MaddenSchool.com. I will put the link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. If you want to watch the trailer, uh, you can. I'm going to have it with the music off. I just want to, I want to see the visuals. I don't want nothing in the way. So first off, face of the franchise, rise to fame. Rise to fame and become immortalized in Madden NFL 21 as you transcend NFL history and shape your own path to greatness. Sounds like the same old. We're going to give you guys a couple updates, but our attention is going to be on Ultimate Team. Leave me alone. Leave a message after the tone. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. That's pretty much what I get from it. Take control. Master innovative running enhancements and live playbooks to run up the score in Madden 21. They do this every year. They change things about the run game. All right, let's just be honest with each other. Every year they change a couple things, but it's still pretty much the same thing. Is the run OP? We don't know. That's something we're going to have to pay attention to in Madden 21. But as far as running the ball, I don't know. They could make it worse or they could make it better. And run could the run game could be even more OP. Who knows? X-Factor 2.0. New X-Factor abilities, fresh out the lab, are designed to elevate the stars of a new generation in Madden 21. So, pretty much creating more stuff that they can monetize and get money out your pockets. X-Factor is not something a lot of people worry about. It's the abilities. And you know how they're going to put those behind the paywall for you to have to grind out mom and dad's credit card to get those abilities on your team, homies. You know what I mean? Now, what I'm going to do at the beginning of the season is... If the game looks like it's going to be more catered to the pass or if it's at least balanced, I may do Ultimate Team. Last year, once I realized it was just going to be a run game, I I bailed out of Ultimate Team, man. I stopped playing the mode because I saw where the game was headed. You know what I'm saying? So just so you guys know, if it is, I'm a passer. That's the kind of YouTuber I am. I'm a passer. I like to run the ball occasionally, but I did do gameplay, right, of Madden 20 with all the runs and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm a passer. And if it's going to be the same thing, I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to be playing Ultimate Team again. That's just the way it is, bro. Okay. So Madden 21 will also be available for upgrade for free from the PS4 to the PS5, just like with the Xbox One to the Xbox Series X. Uh, when Xbox announced that they have that smart delivery system where you buy it once, you get it for free. When you upgrade to the Series X, PlayStation it's going to follow suit. They have no choice, bro. You're going to lose a lot of players that way because people will be like, okay, well, I'll just buy the more powerful console and play the game on that, which I recommend you guys. If, if you're thinking about a console, probably going to get the Series X because it's going to be better as far as showing the game, all right? Some sort of team play will still be in the games as well with online multiplayer listed as 2-6 to six on PS4. Now, I was kind of hoping, like, maybe, you know, okay, you, you guys know, like, NBA 2K where... They have like the playgrounds and you just jump into like a, a, a playground. I thought would have been cool is we could go onto a field and everybody hanging out like, you know, in the bleachers or off the side and stuff like that. And then you run like little uh, three man games or something like that, like on the field. You know what I'm saying? Like little three V threes, one quarterback, two receivers running routes and everybody gets to you get to hit the open receiver just like on a practice field and stuff like that. That was something that I thought would have been cool, man. Three V threes that way, not squads. Why are they going to put the mode behind a paywall, man? Let us, I mean, you could still put that behind a paywall, but add some sort of diversity to the game to where it would be dope. So if you want to check out this article and all the stuff that we're watching and seeing, you can go to MaddenSchool.com. And now let's go ahead and watch the trailer for the first time. Let me make sure this thing is... I'm sorry if the angles are a little bit off on your, on your visuals because I'm trying to la line up this whole uh, thing for uh, the OBS. So I I'm new at it. I'm a bum at it. Let's get to it. All right, yeah, so I thought I was going to have this turned down, but I didn't. All right, here we go. So we got Lamar Jackson right here. Okay. Okay, I already noticed something right off the bat, homies. I, I, I know we were going to watch it through one time, but I got to come backwards, man. All right, this is a deal breaker. What are they doing, bro? What are they doing? Did you guys see it? We're coming backwards. I think I went too far. You're going to see 
the same pursuit angles in Madden 21 that you saw in Madden 20. What do I mean? Look, look at these guys. Look at this guy. Now we can we can say that Lamar Jackson is probably just spinning this guy, right? Okay. But the rest of the dudes, man, they're taking the outside leverage. They're taking the outside, the horrible angles, man. Let's come back a little bit. Let's come back one more time. Let's watch it. Oh no, the horrible. Everybody shifted to the right. I don't like it. It's not looking good so far. Okay, right there. That was pretty dope. He actually reached for the end zone. Come back a little bit more. Pursuit angles are horrible. I like that dive for the end zone. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. The guy's going to be hard to stop. All out control ball uh, carrier skill stick. So pretty much probably giving you more options, right? To do spin moves and trucking animations and whatnot. You're probably going to just pretty much what I'm, what I'm seeing right now is just different animations. Okay, one thing I just want to get clear right now. One thing. If you guys want to watch the trailer by yourself and come back to the video, go ahead, click the link, watch the video real quick because I'm just, like, I'm starting to notice something. Bro, this game, now I don't know if it's the fidelity of the video, but it doesn't look better than Madden 20. It actually looks worse than Madden 20. Bro, it looks like Madden 19 or 18. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's, let's keep this going. Okay, nice. We still have that animation where you duck. Jumping, hurtling animations, not too bad. Okay, that was a different fall animation. Did you guys see that? It was a different fall animation. You saw that right there? I haven't seen that one. Has anybody else seen that one? Let's go back. I've seen the hurdles. They're not as good, but that animation right there, something new. I've seen that animation before. That animation before. That animation, the spin moves. What I'm noticing, okay, look, we got, what was that? What do you say, right? Dominate the edge. Dominate the edge, new pass rush control. Pass rush control means D-line user, right? Or are we talking about like the defensive pass rushers actually do their own moves and they can actually get to the quarterback in time? Or are we looking at someone being a D-line user and having more options to play the D-line? Okay, so let's see. Animation. Okay. All right. Strip ball and then roll. Okay, so there's a strip ball. If we come backwards in, in time, there's a strip ball right here where he actually strips the ball. Not bad. Okay. Different animations on takedowns. Oh, you know what it is, right? You know that new rule they implemented in, in NFL? They're probably changing the animation to suit that. So what they're doing is, is they're just correcting the animation, right? And they're calling it new pass rush moves when really they're just changing the animations to go along with you can't really hit the quarterback. Let's go back with that mentality now. Okay, let's go back a little bit and let's see if they're tackling the quarterback in such a fashion that they don't want to get called for that penalty. Does that make sense to you guys? Let's just come back a little bit, man. Let me just, let me just, uh, uh, let me see with this in my head thinking, is that what we're doing now? We, we being soft with the quarterback. Okay. We're just pushing down. We're grabbing, stripping the ball away. We're going to the quarterback. Yeah. These look like soft tackles. These look like soft tackles, man. I like that spin move. That's cool. But a lot of these are soft tackles, clutch stops, realistic, open field tackling. Okay, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see what that is. That's just like something that, that I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Clutch stops, realistic open field tackling, meaning suction animations. Is that what we're talking about? I don't know. Okay, you're still able to drag people. All right. This looks pretty good. The ball carriers look pretty good. All right. Oh, nice. I like that hit. Okay, right there, right there. New SWAT animation. Look at the new SWAT animations that's coming. Boom, right there. Not bad, I like that. Now, none of this is gonna make sense if my linebackers still can't catch the ball, bro, or none of this is gonna matter if they don't react to the ball. If the ball's coming over their head, th if this guy can jump in the air like he's Spider-Man, let my linebacker do something, bro. Let him put his hands up or something. Can my linebacker get some love? Can he do something to help me intercept the ball? Especially when I hold wire or triangle down and I'm in the way of the ball, but yet they still do nothing and just stand there. Can my linebacker get some love, man? Because these guys look like they're doing some work. These defensive backs just look like, look at this. Let's go backwards, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Nice. Oh my goodness. My man caught air right there and swatted the ball away. 
Okay, strike your pose, user controlled celebrations. This is where the game is going to be catered to the 10 and 11 year olds, homies, okay? If I catch one of you guys buying animations because they're probably gonna monetize this, bro, I'm roasting you on sight. If I see one of y'all doing a Fortnite move and you a grown man, I'm roasting you on sight, okay? Just so you know. And if we in the game together and you do that, and I'm already a little bit mad because I didn't get the pick or you mossed me, right? I'm gonna come at you when you celebrate like that, all right? I'm gonna be calling you names and stuff, man, all right? Let's be honest with each other. Strike your pose. Oh, yeah. Oh, really, bro? Uh-uh. We ain't really doing the robot, are we? Are we do we're doing the robot, bro. We're doing the robot. Okay, that right there. This is what I'm talking about, Sonny. Reaching for the end zone. He was already down, though. Look. Oh, no, actually, maybe he wasn't. Reaching for the end zone? It better be something that I can do and, like, my opponent, his AI automatically does it for him because I'm going to be a little heated if that's the case. I ain't going to lie. So Madden 21 MVP edition seems to be what they're going to have. And to be honest with you guys, Madden 21, this, this looks just like a Madden 20 graphics downgrade plus a seasonal update. This looks like season four of Warzone. Okay, because I play Warzone, so that's why I'm using the analogy. All right, you can use whatever analogy you want. But I'm going with an updated season to Madden 20. What's horrible is that we're gonna have to buy the whole game and you're gonna have to build your team all the way over again and respend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, depending on how, how hard you go in the game. Once I see the game and where it's headed, if, I, if I'm looking at the graphics, right? I see nothing special in this graphics. If anything, I see a downgrade. Now, given that this is probably compressed, a compressed trailer and it just looks bad, right? Okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I need to see something like in 4K or higher fidelity, higher pixels, you know what I mean? Something that's more HD. But what I'm seeing now in this trailer, I'm not, it's nothing to be excited over, bro. It just looks like a season update. This looks like a seasonal update. It doesn't even look like a new game. Now, one thing that we did bypass is the scoreboard up top. That is a different scoreboard, but something that could be changed on a season update. If you updated the season, you know what I'm saying? The crowd in the background still looks bummy, right? They look like cardboard. You know what I mean? Like, let's, let's be honest. Nothing really stands out. Nothing really stands out to me in this in this trailer. All out control ball care. Yeah, so, so I, I I don't know. I'm watching it again, and I like I said, things that could have just been brought in a seasonal update to the game. You could have updated animations. You could have added edge ability animations. It's all animation based anyway. So just rework the animations. Call it a seasonal update. And let's let's be honest with each other. We're not going to see the real change in next gen till maybe next year or the year after for sure so maybe next year when they start implementing like ps5 and series x hardware but we're really going to see it two maddens from now iffy on the next madden for sure on the madden after that here this game could it looks like it could be played on the ps4 base ps4 and base xbox one bros i'm gonna be honest it can be played on those it just looks that way to me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I give this game, it looks like it's going to be a 6 out of 10, maybe 5 out of 10. I'm going to go half on it because this is just the initial reaction from me, but I see nothing that, I mean, to call it Madden 21, bro, it, it shouldn't be called Madden 21. Let me know in the comments, man. Love you guys, man. Peace.